No Film School's coverage of NAB 2018 is brought to you by Black Magic Design, creating revolutionary solutions for film, post-production, and television. Adorama, the world's only full-service destination for photo, video, and electronics. And My Road Reel, the world's largest, is back. Register now at myroadreel.com. Hello, this is Charles Hayne. I'm here at NAB Show 2018 with Mitch Gross from Panasonic. We're talking about the EVA-1. If you guys watched our videos last year, you'll remember that this camera was shrouded. Yes. Not just in mystery, but also in fabric. And now we actually get to physically see it at NAB Show <laughs> this year. So, EVA is a very popular camera. People are really interested in all its capabilities, and we keep expanding it. I mean, even though this is the first time you can actually see it at NAB, We've already done a firmware update to it that added tons of new features to it, and now it's being supported with all these new systems, with raw record. You can see we have all these different cameras here set up with different uh, third-party accessories on each one because all these different companies support the camera, doing very well. You guys are already supporters of the ProRes RAW format? So what we've done, uh, Panasonic worked with uh, Atomos, who is working with Apple, so that we have support of our raw data output. So the camera will output a raw, raw sensor data uh, uncompressed, and that is 5.7K up to 30 frames per second, because it's a 5.7K native sensor. 5.7K, 30 frames a second, 4K up to 60 frames per second, 2K up to 240 frames per second. Take the Atomos uh, Shogun Recorder, Shogun Inferno, that will record those as uh, ProRes RAW. Apple has put our uh, standardizing uh, image con transform LUT for RAW to Rec. 709 is preloaded in the system, but if you want to be working with V-Log or if you want to be working with your own custom LUTs, you can all put that in. So there's lots of stuff that's available already for V-Log. All of that integrates very nicely, so the camera system goes from the camera to the recorder to post all very efficient. All right, so is there anything else you want to tell us about what's going on with the EVA-1 this year? Yeah, well, the new firmware 2.0, which is what enabled the raw output, also has another a number of other very nice features. So uh, first is having the all-eye codex. Now, for internal recording, we started right from the beginning with long gop, and then what we introduced is all-eye, and all-eye is very similar to uh, AVC in an intra-frame format. So why would you want to use one versus the other? What's the point? Well, a long gop is uh, very small files, but it's more work for your computer on the other end because it's looking at a number of frames at the same time, so it, it takes more horsepower to use. So we also have the all-I that is larger files, but it means it's much easier for the computer later on so you can use a smaller you know like a laptop instead of a workstation and that's because it's individual compression compressed frames as opposed to a group of frames so it's really a question of workflow which way is more comfortable for you and just in the way you, you work we also have time lapse that we've added uh, for the cameras that functionality in addition to time lapse we also have infrared uh, photography. The camera, you can flip out just with, like you push the buttons to get the different uh, ND filters swing in and out. You can also swing out the IR cut filter and so suddenly you're an infrared uh, camera. So I don't need to send it back to the facility to pull off my IR cut. You can just do it in the field with a button push. You, you, you can do it with a button push. Generally, we have it inside the menu so you don't accidentally do it. You have to choose to do it. But yeah, it's simply, uh, you know, you push the control and now you're an infrared camera for when you need it. Another niche thing in our industry is inter in interlace recording. You think, interlace recording? It's 2018. What are we doing interlace? Well, a lot of broadcasters, that's what the, they're still all about doing interlace. They need to have that workflow to get the thing out. So they said, hey, can you... Can you put a high quality interlace in here? So we did. So with the, with the new firmware, you can do interlace uh, in all eye or in long gop. The long gop is only 50 megabit a second. So that is a, that, that sweet spot of what the news guys need in order to get the material out quickly and get a lot of stuff on a card. So there's a bunch of other little functions and features we put in that just for sort of convenience. Uh, Canon has some 
uh, lightweight zooms that are have servo power, and we've always sort of powered and worked with those zooms well, but now you can have a controller on the pan arm that would go through the camera and then control those lenses. And then we also have an iPad or iPhone or uh, Android app that will speak to the camera and then control the lenses through the camera as well as all the other functions on the camera remotely through Wi-Fi. So lots of little functions like that that we've enabled and just really try to uh, fill out the camera for the way people want to use it. That's an impressive amount of upgrades for like a camera that's less than a year old. Yeah, the camera only started shipping end of October and uh, here uh, it's April and we've already had a major firmware upgrade. We also uh, enabled, uh, we, we how we run with lots and lots of different lenses, but uh, Sigma lenses are very popular with this in nice combination. So we they went through and enabled six more Sigma art lenses that, that people really like. So it's just really trying to fill out the, the functionality. Awesome. All right, Mitch, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Thank you, sir. So that was Charles Hayden for No Film School 2018 here with the EVA1 and a brand new firmware, ProRes RAW, lots of new features with Mitch from Panasonic. Thank you very much.